5.30 in the morning now, trying to get ready. Gonna do my coffee and eat some breakfast. Gonna go for a ride. So I got my coffee beans, Kenya, all my stuff is here, make some coffee. Looks good. Bagel for me for breakfast. So. Beautiful. Cheese. So. Don't judge me. Let's try my coffee. Wow. Like store bought. So today I am going to do a solo ride because I feel that. As time goes by, uh, you know, you can never have this very predictable time timing for your uh, juggling between cycling and family. So today, like last weekend, also for the past two weeks, I think I've been doing solo ride mainly because of insufficient time uh, with the family. Uh, I need to drive the kids around. You know, kids are still young. They are going to church and they're going to their activities. And so as parents, we drive them a lot around. And uh, my wife does a bit of it and I do a bit of it. I do my fair share. So, I think it's not fair for me to just let my wife do everything while I go out cycling. So I tend to juggle a lot between the time. So I guess I'll be doing a bit more solo ride or until I can find a group that has similar visa to me. And, and that is, you know, hopefully the right ends before 12. Lah. So yeah, I'm gonna have my cheese bagel. Mmm, delicious. And I'm gonna go for a ride by myself. Well, now it's 6.24 a.m. I got to try to complete this ride, which is about 80 km below. I need to reach home by... You can't see me! I need to reach home by 10 in the morning, or 10.30 latest. So, hope everything goes well. The plan is today to ride to Perez from my house. Very dark. So, well, someone's earlier than me. <laughs> Boss, morning. So, let's go. Uh, it's way too early to talk right now. Nothing is going through my mind right now. I don't even know what to talk about, but we're just gonna go with the flow today. Oh, I know now it's pretty, still pretty dark um, and I know many of my Muslim friends are fasting today so I don't think there's many people cycling today lah. We'll talk more and record more probably when there's more light Right now, can't see a thing Much brighter now oh, With the road lights 
<laughs> so, I don't think about Malaysia. I would prefer riding early in the morning so I can end the ride early. It's way, way too hot. I think this same, same goes for Singapore. <laughs> well, we only did about 4 km. <coughs> it's definitely still pretty dark. I was supposed to roll out at about I was supposed to roll out at about 6 in the morning but I told myself I don't want to reach uh, Batu Empat Belas and Hantu a bit too early because if I reach there too early it'll be too dark and I don't like cycling in Batu 14 when it's too dark unless I have a friend with me because of dogs or whatever it's too dark and because there's no street lamp there so that's why I roll out it's a bit later hopefully by the time I reach Hantu there is light the road is so empty now I foresee I won't be seeing a lot of cyclists today because like I said, uh, it's fasting month now so being fasting month, I think it's going to be an empty road today a lot of the Muslim cyclists nowadays, they cycle at night after they eat uh, after they open their, uh, after they end their fast for the day so there's a lot of night rides lately so if you're looking for any night rides uh, you can join a lot of uh, groups uh, right now Okay, I reached to the entrance or the road of the Kampung Road already. I mean, the towards Batu Empat Belas lah. So, so far so good. KM Seven. It rained yesterday night really heavily. I was quite worried that because it rained so heavily yesterday night, that I'll see a lot of puddle of water here. So thank goodness it all dried up overnight. It's good to know, and I do hope that Batu. 14 and 18 and Perez top won't be muddy lah. so my bike won't be too dirty can I see behind me a lot of sports cars are coming out early for a ride already <laughs> using at about 32 km per hour and I think I've decided to I made my game plan for today in order for me to reach home at 10 o'clock I will not do Hantu I will sure for mileage right I'm just gonna cycle straight up to Paris stop. Whoa, it's a big rock. Hit my frame. I'm gonna hit up to Paris stop and go home. So based on that strategy, I should be able to hit quite a bit of mileage and reach home by 10. Right now it's 6.57 a.m. I've been doing about 11 km only. At least now I can see light at the horizon But it's nice and cooling now last. It's probably about 22 degrees Celsius now But definitely Like cycling in the cool air Here's the Batu 14 junction Which I will not be going I'm gonna go to Batu 18 Blasteros <sighs> Now it's KM 15.8 Oh red light 706 my heart rate is at 140 definitely more light now you can see but it's so nice and misty now everybody is probably just getting ready to wake up <laughs> it's now about 7 a.m <sighs> i've done about 18 km <sighs> probably another 3 km to go to hit the Paris are the Batu Lapam Blas Junction. KM 22.5 Finally we reached to Batang Batu 18 already Where you see there are more cars here right? I think it's a lot of, still a lot of cyclists Mamua 
got cyclists, quite a bit. Okay, now towards the T-junction. Let's see what time I reach there. Whew. So like I was saying, right, I think it went to a point in my time uh, or in my life uh, that a lot of things are changing. And I mean changing uh, means my routine has to change. I've been cycling every Sunday without fail unless I'm sick or there's really something going on but I would say 80% of my Sundays I'm cycling but recently because of my daughters are growing up they have different schedule in their life so I have to adjust my timing to them <laughs> this is pretty hard I mean I want to ride with my friends but my friends they also want to do epic ride, I can't blame them. I would love to do epic ride once in a while, but Visa is Visa, right? It is what it is. Morning. It is what it is, right? So I just have to adjust my timing. Huh? So now I either I cycle on Saturday or my Sunday Visa is until 12. I either have to find a new group to cycle with or I cycle solo or I see whether my friends have Bernou that I think I can complete by 12. I can tell you it's so misty now uh, that when as I pedal uh, all these little clouds that's around me now Let's see and I feel that it's building up and my lips so nice and beautiful eh? So happy I came out today to ride. Especially so happy that I came out so early in the morning. Oh, I love it. Love it. A lot of people ask me in KL uh, for a newbie, uh, where should we start cycling? Uh? I always recommend this spot. Or if you're a tourist, you came here for a holiday, you want to cycle, do a bit of cycling. <laughs> this is the spot. I am 25. Uh, my heart rate is at 142 been sustaining about 140 heart rate all the way doing at about 180 watts to 170 watts average going at about 25 km per hour average speed I'm just sun tying uh. oh look at the mist man so nice and misty now uh, got cyclists also doing their morning ride Morning, morning, morning. It's so misty uh, that uh, the visibility, right, is only like what 15 20 meters. The visibility, the visibility is so bad, right? But it is fun. Big group in front, KM 33 now. So, the big group is yeah. this fella here. Yeah. Easily he overtake me only. <laughs> Bong already. T junction in front. Oops. KM 34. I'm tired. A lot of people. Uh, 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 in here. Uh. Let's go. See how far can I go. It's 7 48 now. I've not been cycling. I've not stopped cycling since 6 30. 748 KM34 I don't think I can reach up there by 8.30 uh, I don't think so but I'll try All I know is 8.30 Die die I must U-turn Rate is at 154 uh, So now chill my way up So I start climbing There's no mist here All the mists are like down there huh. Climbing here it's like crystal clear. <sighs> crystal clear. So, do you live here or what? Yeah. You live here? Yeah. How long have you been here? About 50 years. 50 years? 15, 15 one five. Oh, 1.5. Yeah. Since when have you started cycling? About four years ago. <laughs> four years ago? Yeah. So how's it? I love it, yeah. Great. What's that to like? 
So are you from Ireland? Because you're wearing all this Ireland jersey and all. Today is St. Patrick's Day. Oh, St. Patrick's Day. So I have to. So, you, so are you Irish? Yes. There you go. Have you cycled to Ireland before? Yeah, a little. More here. More here. So normally you cycle around here? Yeah, here a lot. Yeah. Well, oh, KL a lot, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, the good thing about KL is you have hilly routes, city routes, quite a lot of different kind of routes. Yeah, I prefer the flat ones, honestly. <laughs> what are you doing here then? Huh? What are you doing here then, climbing? Well, sometimes you have to punish yourself, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm not going to follow you because following you is punishing myself. No, you're okay, you're okay, no problem. You started from where? Uh, Batu Batu 14, yeah. Oh, 14, yeah. so you did Hantu? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. I cycled uh, from my house. You cycled from your house? Where's yeah, your house? So about 40 km from here. Oh, wow, okay. So, I got the, oh shit, yeah, I got an, another 40 km back. Okay. All right. What's your name? Melvin. Melvin, nice to meet you, buddy. Yeah. What's your name? It's Cyril. Cyril. Okay. Take care. See you around. See you. Take care. He's so strong. He's so strong. Look at him. Crazy. Honestly, everyone is old. Everyone is overtaking me, right? Oh, I feel so slow now. If. I cannot reach the top by 8.20 maybe, just in case. I definitely need to reach home. So if I can't reach the top, I think if I can do 40km and U-turn, so pretty good already. Pretty happier. See, seriously, everyone's overtaking me. Well, since everyone stopped here, myself, I also stopped here. Ah. Look at the view here, eh? the view is so much better than up there. Ah, it's deep down there. Morning. Good morning, morning. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Good pause to capture the view and continue the pain. <laughs> KM 38.5, now it's 8.09. Definitely racing against the clock. If some of you are wondering how come Sunday I don't go to church, but I always fetch my kids and family from church, it's because actually my family goes to Saturday service and it just so happened my daughter has Sunday youth so that's why I have to drive around uh, KM 39 uh, I'm gonna be KM 40 soon I feel extremely tired uh, so now is at 8 what time is it now? 8.12 we got another 3 more minutes of cycling can I hit the KM 40? All I want to do is at least 80 km today. At least 80 km. Everyone is overtaking me. No, no, Everyone is overtaking me. Morning, morning, morning. My guy, my guy. Everyone's terrible. Everyone's overtaking me. Nobody's <laughs> overtaking me. It's okay, lah. Enjoy the ride. Enjoy the ride. Good news is I've done 40 km. Ah, oh, I've done 40 km. It's 8, 8 16 a.m. now. I think if I U-turn now, though I have not reached to Paris stop, I assume Paris stop there's another 4km in front of me. But at least I did 80, 40km. If I U-turn now, I should be able to do 80km today. So I've made a decision to go home now because I need to be home if can by 10.15. I think sweet spot is 10.15am. So I'll reach to the turning point there and make a u-turn 40.3 u-turn <laughs> so now i'm gonna go downhill and go to namwa do a quick refill ah oh, my butt hurts a bit go home now based on my calculation it should take me two hours to go home talk about didn't expect so many cyclists on the road today it's a lot look everyone is out Downhill is 
the best. Honestly, right now, this downhill is bad. I'm not gonna pedal, I just wanna recover. But I've been pedaling 40 km non stop. Strangely, the going downhill, the base is more cooling than up in Paris Top. I think today Paris Top is a bit hot. <laughs> So I stop here because I noticed there's this lock here. Let's see if I can remove it a bit. Uh, let me see if I can just put my back here. Uh, okay. Let's see if I can remove this lock. This looks a bit dangerous. Imagine cyclists coming down here. And uh, there you go. Move this to the side. Uh, hi, bro. <laughs> so there you go. You're moving all this. So clear up the road. Okay, looks good. Just a few more. Uh, if I don't know if I can move this. This is a bit heavy. Oh, this heavy. I can't move this. Welcome. Okay, back on. Okay, did my community service for the day. Continue to go home. Look at that, man. Majestic view. Eh? Totally brilliant. Okay, reach to the base of the T Junction. I hey, see some recognizable face. Oi, morning, morning. Oi! Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Training solo, ah? <laughs> Visa. Nice. Visa over, have to rush back. See you. Right there. Actually, just now when I was going downhill from Paris Top, ah, I just realized, I just realized that it was a 6km downhill so it means I was only 4km short of reaching to the top maybe I should have just cycled to the top uh, but regretfully I made the decision to U-turn so let's see if I made the right choice if I reach home at 10 o'clock maybe I should have went to Perez stop if I reach home at about 10.15 then I made the right choice Woo! and this is tight when you have really limited time and you still want to go out to cycle this is tight this is so tight at about 34 km per hour 33 km per hour using at about 180 watts let's go cruise all the way to the T-junction let's see how it goes see whether I have time for a bottle of barley or not to just recover a bit because I have another 30km to go back Okay, now I need a break after cycling 57 km non stop. <sighs> Still the best. Huh? A lot of car. Still the best nasi lemak. This one. Still the best. Today I I teman, teman Alex for breakfast. Alex group they cycle Ampang Hantu also. Uh, so Alex gang uh, Ampang Hantu Perez then come here la. Right. Bong already, bong already. <laughs> so now all the bicycles are parked here. Mine is here. And I'm gonna go home. That was a quick 10 minutes eat and run. <laughs> <laughs> that nasi lemak is the best man so a pack of nasi lemak plus a bali is total 6 ringgit so I believe the nasi lemak is what 2 ringgit bali 4 ringgit I think another roughly 23 km more to go should be able to make it back by 10 wow perfect I'm early I should have done Paris stop I <laughs> Hi 
right now km 60 i'm just cruising at 30 km per hour i'm not even rushing because i know i have plenty of time or ample of time in fact but right now you definitely can see the sun is up it's hot though it's quite cooling still the temperature now is at about 25 degrees celsius but when shaded it's cool cooling once I hit the sun, I can definitely feel the burn a bit. Oh, finally reached Batu and Babalas. Another 15 km to go. I'll be home safely. Going at about 35, 36 km per hour. Uh, heart rate is at da -da -da -da, 154. Oh, the road here is so tight. Oh my goodness, bumpy and tight. This is the section that I really don't enjoy riding. Hope they fix it soon. Uh. Let me go a bit faster so that I don't block the cars behind. Uh. We're at about 33 km per hour. At uh, this hour, the traffic is definitely building up. Don't enjoy cycling here at this hour. Whoa, bump! Thank goodness the car behind me is keeping a safe distance. If not, uh, it will be very dodgy to ride here. I have to turn right now. Look at that climb, man. That's a 10, 10 12 percent climb. Uh, I have to climb that now. Let me just roll up a bit. Get some momentum. Uh, oh, it's hot. And it's a climb. Uh, okay. It's about 8% now. It's not too steep, I guess. 9, 10. Yeah, it's a 10%, 10.2% climb. Now we to the top already. 8 to 11%. That was brutal. To the extent that now, I feel like my thighs are sore. So sore. My thighs are so sore. Uh, okay, there's a bit more climb here. All these are like 3%, 3 4% 3 now. These are Jujubee climbs. Oh, I reached the top. That was a long top. Uh, near home. Just another 4 more km. Alive, I say I'm not tired. I'm actually very tired. I'm actually very tired. Can't wait to reach home. Oh, it's hot man today. Look at the sun behind me. Oh, it's hot. It is hot. Can't really imagine how people can do 100km nowadays. Way too hot. Oh, so tight here. Yeah. Two more km to go. Some gate km already. Uh, two more km to go. Here comes the 100, 200 meter, the 100 meter climb. It's gonna be painful. Uh, it's gonna be painful. The about this climb is, my house is just here. I have no choice. There's no other way to get to my house. Okay, here comes the climb. Ah, I'm not gonna push myself. Tired already. 80 km already anyway. So I hit my goal for today to hit 80 km. So now I just need to survive this climb and look at the road, it's so bad. So I'm very worried about cars coming behind me. Ah. Whoa, the motorbike came so close. Many cars. Trying to go fast. <sighs> hey, I will stop here. 80.2 km. Let me just stop at this junction right here and give uh, the right stats. Okay, right stats right here. Uh, 80 km. Wow. Okay, 600 meter elevation. Not too bad. Lah. 80 km. Uh, I was so near to the top. Another 4 more km. I reached the top already. Average speed 24. Moving time 3 hours 20 minutes. Burn 2,000 over calories. Nice, sweet. Oh, oh I got Batu 14 to Batu 9. <laughs> uh, PR, that's rare. Let's watch an amazing bit. Based on amazing fit data. Oh, see, I can't even hold the camera already. Anyway. Oh, okay, almost 700 ele meter elevation. Average heart rate 136, average speed 24. Heart rate 166 max, average 136. Okay. Oh, okay, this time anaerobic most of the time. I pace myself well. Average 140 watts altitude. 
gradient <laughs> uphill 29% of the ride very crazy uh, well I guess that's about it right that's about it for today's ride stats I hope you enjoyed this video I hope it encourages you to go out and ride and I hope we all suffer together take care and God bless <laughs>